Hello everyone, my name is Glenda with SureFit Designs. In a previous video, I showed you how to deal with your sway back when it was in relationship to your bodice and to make sure that you got the center back waist length appropriate for your body. In this video, we're also going to talk about the sway back, but now it's going to be in relationship to the way a skirt would fit on you. And where you're going to find this is in the minor tune-up section of your SureFit Designs dress kit instruction book. It's page 15 and it is number 8. So when you have a sway back, it means that your posture is substantially swayed at the small of your back. We all have an S-curve in our spine, but some of you have a more dominant indentation at the very lower edge of your spine, at, at your uh, waist area. So if when you put on a skirt and you have that situation, what typically happens is that you get bunching underneath your waistband at the back. And so it's a very, very easy tune-up. All that you're going to come do is come in with some pins and pin your test skirt across right at your waist edge area going to nothing at the side seam. Now this is a finished skirt of course and you would be doing this in the test version but still you get the idea. And then however wide that pinch is, that tuck that you've pinned out, then you're going to take that out at the center back of your skirt pattern. So let's take a look at that. Let's just pretend that the tuck that I pinned out there was 3 8 of an inch wide, so the total amount would be 3 quarters of an inch. So at center back on the pattern, you will come down 3 quarters of an inch and make a mark, and then you want to connect that up to the waist point. But you don't want to go just in a dramatic straight line like this, because if you did, when you opened up center back, you would get um, a V formation here, which wouldn't be appropriate in your stitching. So what you want to do is at center back here, you want to come out approximately three quarters of an inch at a right angle to center back. That's a 90 degree angle. And then start your upward truing or blending into your side seam uh, at the waist point. And I have just penciled this in, but I'm going to go ahead and do it with the designing stylus so that you can see the curvature that would be formed. And it will look like that. So that removes the excess that you don't need underneath your waistband at the back of your body. But you can also see what's happened is it has dramatically shortened the length of that dart and it has narrowed the dart because the triangle is wider up here and as a tri triangle gets smaller and narrower you lose the actual width. So that means you're going to go back to your waist darts template that you found within your SureFit Designs dress kit and you're going to go to dart number four, the skirt back dart, and simply take that template and reposition it like this and then draw in your new dart shape. Now that dart shape will end up being a little bit longer, but do remember that it can be elongated or shortened or stitched in a concave or convex curve to best shape the uh, curve and uh, shape for the hip of your, to best shape for the curvature of your body. Okay, and where you're going to find um, the video on what I call divining the dart is in the SureFit Designs Learning Center in the video library. And for this and other many helpful videos, that's the place to go. That is a great reference spot for you and use that reference center as it was intended to, uh, to be there to offer you all the help that you need in getting the best fit for your SureFit Designs body blueprint.